Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. Now, on October 10th, it is known as World Mental Health Day, and we will be checking in with a psychiatrist, or as she prefers to be called a psychiatrist in training, to find out more about mental health. So joining me this morning is Dr. Marissa Edmond. Dr. Edmond, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, mental health, let's just dive right in. Why do we commemorate a day such as Mental Health Day? It's so important. There's no health without mental health. And that's a saying that's been around for some time now. Now, the World Health Organization has made mental health a priority. It's, they've included it in all of their global plans, and they, have a, um, they hope by 2030, mental health could be accessible. Mental health care could be accessible to everybody throughout the world. So in some parts of the world, in low to middle income countries, there is a sort of a gap between people who need mental health and the people who get mental health care and those who could actually access it. So the purpose of World Mental Health Day, um, which is celebrated every year on October 10th, is to sort of raise awareness about mental health illnesses and then the importance of preventing these illnesses and making time for your mental health. All right, also, so I have questions because you, 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 you keep yeah, throwing yeah. mental health, mental health, <laughs> mental health. Okay. What exactly is mental health? And you're saying that we can prevent uh, mental, mental health issues as well? Yeah, there's so, some so steps. So break it down for me. Okay. So we to sort of focus on the actual definition that's mm -hmm. provided by the World Health Organization. Mental health speaks about mental wellness, the mental wellness that you need to be able to contribute to society, to attain the goals that you have in life, to be able to learn well, work well, and just form part of the community. Mm -hmm. So that's what the mental health refers to, mental wellness in a sense, that you need for overall functioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right, and how do we prevent mental health issues? Okay, so it's not a single answer, because mm -hmm. there are multiple factors that contribute to the well, developing yeah. mental that's health issues, think, oh no. right? So there are biological factors that contribute, um, social and also psychological. Mm -hmm. So the first step actually, which is great that I'm here to m speak about this today, is that being aware of the things that could contribute to a decline in your mental health. Mm -hmm. So if we were just to speak biologically, some people are more what we call genetically predisposed, so they mm -hmm. may have mental health illnesses that run in their family, mm -hmm. so it puts them at a greater risk. But that doesn't mean, however, that they def definitely will develop a mental illness. So other factors would include use of substances, so excessive regular use of substances like alcohol, so indulging a lot, mm -hmm. cannabis, and other illicit drugs. Mm -hmm. So that increases your risk of developing a mental health issues as well as emotional dysregulation so not being able to regulate your emotions um tolerate stressful situations um <laughs> so, we, so for example did we see the <laughs> pandemic for example exacerbate yes. the mental definitely, health issues definitely. in the country so yeah the World Health Organization, I'll be quoting them a lot, guys, sorry. It's but fine, it's yeah. fine. So the WHO actually, they released some statistics and they said that within the first year of the pandemic, there was a 25% increase in depression and anxiety mm. worldwide. Right. So the pandemic created a global crisis for mental health. Um, prior to the pandemic, it was um, estimated that one in eight persons globally suffered from a mental health disorder. So one in eight, you know, mm -hmm. thing that, so the, we don't have statistics right now, but I mean, they're still researching that, but. What are, what are some of the mental health disorders? You mentioned depression mm -hmm. just now, but I imagine there are a lot more because we, I mean, growing up, you would always hear about the, the mad house, or you would hear people just refer to somebody Sometimes, as mad. Yeah. But now we've developed these terms like mental health awareness, and mm -hmm. you know, we, we're breaking them down to see exactly how we can define what's wrong or mm -hmm. what's, not, what's not working well. And we gave them titles. So what are some of the what are some of the things that we can identify as mental health issues? Okay, so a mental health issue doesn't equate to actual disorder or illness because okay. anybody, you, me, and they could have a situation arise that's just too much for us to handle, and right. then you're overwhelmed. Yes, yeah, and that's I mean, a mental health issue. Mm -hmm. Well, if it starts to affect your functioning, yeah. so if you're so overwhelmed you can't get out of bed, you're okay. just not eating, you don't want to come to work, your performance declining, then you start to have a mental health issue, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean it's a full disorder. Disorder would imply that it's so severe that you need intervention, right? Right. Um, but typically in Trinidad, we have have the third highest suicide rate within the Americas, right? That mm. comes statistics from the World Health Organization. <laughs> so um, we see a lot of suicide cases that happens. Um, depression is a major issue in Trinidad as well. We have anxiety. The other disorders would be like schizophrenia. I'm sure a lot of people hear about mm -hmm. that, which is a chronic illness, bipolar disorder. So mm -hmm. these are also mental health 
illnesses. Um, those are the more common ones that everybody would know. Other things would be like um, post-traumatic stress disorder, postpartum depression, those sort of things. Mm -hmm. Now for the ones who have these uh, disorders or even they feel like if it's just everything is a bit overwhelming, where can they go to get uh, service? I love that question. So this is important. Throughout the country, the, the, so Trinidad is considered to be a developing high income country, right? And the what high income? Think, well, that's what the World yeah. Bank says. Yeah, about that. Sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm yeah, I made sure and check that before. Yes. Like, let me, right? <laughs> but um, basically, we actually have great access to mental health care. So that, that's one of the good things. So within the Northwest region, there are three wellness centers, the popular ones, Barataria has one, mm -hmm. Pembroke Street, Diego Martin. However, there are mental health clinics throughout the country from Carinage all the way up to Toko, Rio Claro, Mearu. Um, these clinics are walk-in. Mm -hmm. So you can be referred by a doctor, but if you feel like, no, today I need to talk to somebody, you can actually walk in. Usually there is supposed to be a staff there. So most, most times the, the mental health nurses are there, the social workers, and then the doctors have set these where you can come in and see them. But it's walk-in. So it's, in almost every area, you should be able to walk into a clinic and say, no, I'm not doing well today. I need to speak to somebody. Mm -hmm. Additionally, the psychologists, Association of Psychologists, they have this website called Find Care TT. I'm not sure if you know of it, but mm -hmm. it's because of the crisis with the pandemic, they actually wanted to be there for people who need to speak to somebody. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of this website, Find Care TT, um, is that if you need to talk to a professional urgently, you can go there, search the psychologist, and they have a list of people available to speak to you at any given time. Yeah. Um, and then we also have hotlines like Childline, Lifeline. Um, additionally, all of the emergency departments are available yeah. to walk in. Dr. Edmund, I want to thank you so much for sharing that information with us this morning. I think it's very important for people to know where they can get assistance mm -hmm. if they so need it. And I want to thank you for joining us on the Now Morning Show. Unfortunately, we are out of time, but oh, I, I wish we could have this conversation <laughs> for so much longer. Good. No, I feel like we need a proper time yeah, yeah, no, to discuss this in, in no, detail. But so, I just yeah. want to say to everybody, try to take some time today for your mental health, mm -hmm. take some time, take a break, do something nice for yourself this Go week. Go outside. <laughs> yeah, yes. in nature. Sometimes yeah. as simple as going outside, we yeah. have a beautiful Queen's Park Savannah and even just taking here. a walk. Just take yeah. a walk and take in the greenery and exactly. it will actually do wonders for your mental health. We take a quick break and we come back with more inside in our morning show.